Hey everybody, my name is Jeremy. Uh, I work for Rangemaster Memphis. I wanted to talk a little bit about today of the Maxpedition Remora. Uh, I've had this bag for a long time, a number of years. I think I got it back in 08. And uh, I even find today, as prevalent as YouTubers are, especially the young YouTubers, which I'm very grateful for, uh, I, I, there's a lot of everyday carry videos about bags, but I haven't, without clicking on every one of them, I haven't found a real good one that might uh, purposefully demonstrate the draw stroke from that particular bag. So I'm not going to talk about the Remora, its pouches pertaining to things that it could be good for other than drawing a concealed pistol for. So with that, I'll get started. Let's go ahead and safety up here. You notice I've got a Glock 19. It is in its dry fire configuration, which is without ammo. So with that, let's talk about how I wear mine as opposed to some YouTubers who wear the Remora. I found one YouTuber who shot from it on a range, which is pretty cool. I have that ability, so I may try to make a video for you that way. Uh, but very simply, there's a pouch on the back that has hook and loop tape. And I've got a magnet, a deep earth magnet that's Velcroed in there. So when I slide this thing in, you'll notice that you've got a little bit of show and tell here, but it's already, it's all the way bottomed out. A 17 will obviously come out of this thing about 20 more millimeters, but uh, if it's on your person, I don't think that's a problem. I don't button it. The magnet holds it in there fine. Uh, I've had moments where I've wanted to cut this off and sew it down so I'm not messing with this little flap. But I've never found it to mess with my draw stroke. Um, I've seen some right hand of that right hand shooter. She wore it over uh, her left shoulder, and I would actually encourage folks to not do that uh, for speed because um, I believe you're chasing the bag. So to show you the way I wear it, this is how I wear it. Uh, if I were to sit in a vehicle, uh, sit in a chair, I simply take my arm and obviously move it to my front. What I like about this position, uh, better than the opposite shoulder position, is that that's part of the draw stroke. Uh, I'm walking wherever I'm walking, stuff gets tight, I put my left hand on it, I bring this all the way out front pretty aggressively. I, I essentially cross my arms almost, and I pull it apart, and I'm already in the three position. Like I'm searching for that trigger as I put the front sight on the target and I'm ready to press. And if I have to, I can go to the two position, defend myself, back it up, whatever it may take. So I have an easy, fast two position, three position to shoot from. And I've obviously, I've pushed all the way out to shoot from uh, to the four. So one more time, and it fits right on that magnet. I love it. Um, and you, you don't have much choice. The, the, the loop tape if you're right-handed is on the wrong side. So if you have a holster there, your fingers actually end up hitting the holster, which I've tried. So that magnet up top near the slide, all my fingers go straight beside it. And you're able to get a good master grip while it's in the bag. So just like your holster on your hip, wherever you may have it, having the master grip before you draw your pistol, is very critical. Uh, I've got a first aid kit in here. Uh, one of uh, tactical responses, Bach kits. It's the best kit for the money. Uh, <laughs> tricky little 33 round mag. Stuff I have to get real killer on that. But uh, I've got I've got magazines in this front pouch, easy accessible, uh, and I've hidden all the all the little strings that I don't need. All the strings that I don't need, I've either taken off or I've tucked away. So when I'm looking for them with my left hand, I know that stuff's where it is because I've dry practiced with it. So with that, that's the Remora Maxpedition draw strip. Uh, I may make another video with the stuff I keep in the bag if anyone's interested. So remember, it's not the odds, it's the stakes.